I want to give brief reviews on anything that I purchased from my garage gym just to sort of give you guys feedback on, on what I think is good, what I think uh, works, what doesn't work. And you know, for me, I try to save as much money as possible, so I'm looking for the best deal for what I need. So uh, the first thing I, I want to review, I've gotten a few new things in the gym recently, but something that I'm really excited about that I've started using that I really like is the Rep Fitness FID, stands for Flat Incline Decline, Bench. It is similar to the Hoist 3165 or 3165 bench, except it's about a third of the price. So that bench is probably around $900. This one was... I believe $250 plus shipping, so it cost me about $280 to get it here. Uh, it took me about 10-15 minutes to put together, and we're good to go. Some of the things that I like about this bench, obviously it's got a decline to negative 20, and it's got about five settings for from flat to about 85, 86, 87 degrees, so basically upright so that you can do shoulder presses and things of that nature. So I liked all the versatility of the settings. Uh, the decline is nice for decline bench. It does have the pads to lock your legs in so that you're not just sliding down the bench. So that's a big positive. And it is sort of a, uh, I, I guess you call this a V-shaped pad on the end so that you do have some room for your legs to go around and underneath the pad in the front. So that's excellent. Uh, it's very sturdy, so it's a tripod base. Now this is good for a garage gym so my floor and, and most garage floors are not level so a tripod works better and stability wise than uh, two bars in the front and back or, or four legs so that is a big plus and it is as solid as a rock so this thing weighs about I'd say 80 pounds or so really solid the pad is perfect it is firm yet comfortable the bench I was using before was a Bowflex bench and it was extremely soft it didn't lay completely flat did it work? Yes. Uh, the big thing that I did want on this is obviously the adjustable front pad here so that when you're doing incline you're not sliding on a flat surface like I did with my other one when I increased to you know, anything above a certain amount of weight. Anything that started getting heavy, I would slide down the bench. So it was really tough and more focused on my legs and actually the chest on so trying to keep myself stable. So this being able to lift that front part of the seat up helps obviously stay locked in for any incline work that you're doing. Now there are other benches that have that functionality that are cheaper. This bench is rated a thousand pounds. Uh, this is a static test so they put a thousand pounds on the whole bench and, and making sure that nothing is failing basically. So perfect for that. Um, I'm never going to reach that. I'm never going to do an incline with my body weight plus whatever's on the bar above a thousand. So it ranges anywhere from four gauge steel I think up to like uh, 13 gauge steel but all the places where you expect or need it to be heavy gauge steel it is heavy gauge steel so quickly and easily adjust has wheels on the front so you can push it around so it's easy to move around uh, the gym the only thing I don't like and this is same thing with any commercial uh, bench that has the sort of v-shaped front pad and I'm sure you can see that in, in these clips that I'm showing here it is a little difficult to uh, for, for dumbbell work so when you're trying to pull the dumbbells back and you're walking them into the bench you do have to sort of spread your legs a bit to sort of straddle the bench before you sit down so would I like it to be narrow yes if it was narrow could I do decline work no so I mean you sacrifice something either you have the decline and you use it or you don't and you have a narrower front and it's easier to do uh, incline dumbbell work shoulder presses or uh, flat dumbbell work so you know there are sacrifices there and if that's one complaint that I do have about the bench that would be it but given that I like to do decline work to mix things up not a big factor for me other than that solid bench uh, I'd recommend it and I'm extremely pleased with it